starting over would be a waste of the six months we spent trying to get here. It's all part of the game. And I'm just trying to win with you. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Insecure video. Now, this is going to be the review and recap for Insecure Season 5, Episode 2. If you're a fan of Insecure, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Insecure, you get them. Now, this episode is titled Growth OK. And the description for this episode reads, despite her now thriving business, Issa struggles to find her footing and turns to an old friend for support. Meanwhile, Molly contemplates jumping back into the dating pool. Now, this episode is supposed to take place like a year later or whatever. So a lot has changed. Now, we see that Issa and Molly are both living alone. They're pursuing their careers, doing what they want to do. Issa's company, The Block, has reached like 10,000 followers. The followers just keep going up. So she's doing really good with her business and stuff and it just keeps on going. We see Molly, she has a newly shaved head. So she has a new look and everything. She has a meditation routine. She's just different all around. And I did not expect this. We see that Issa leans on her friend for support after work and Molly contemplates and getting back into the dating scene. And, you know, she wants to know if she should get out there and start dating again or not. You know, Molly and Issa are both pretty busy with their lives. And it seems like their friendship is once again a priority for both of them. If you guys remember, their friendship was really struggling in the first episode still because they fell out in season four. But they have pasta nights and they chat about a whole bunch of stuff and they have sleepovers and stuff. So they're really good friends as of right now. And Issa is planning another event for Nathan's business, celebrating their one year. And I didn't know Nathan was going to come back on the show, but here he is. And it's clear that there's something between Issa and Nathan. Issa and Nathan stop for drinks after discussing their event. And the mood in the cafe has Issa asking Nathan if he has plans later. You know, she wants him to come over and stuff. And it turns out that he has a date. Now we see Molly's parents and Molly is pretty frustrated and reminds them that they need to handle their estate planning. And we see at the barbecue, Molly's mother tries to set her up with Herbert. And he's some short man who kind of looks on the older side. And Molly really ain't having it. I guess he redoes like trap songs for like children and stuff. Now, when she tells her mom that she isn't focused on dating right now, her mom, you know, she tries to say that you need to date because before you know it, you're going to be too old and this stuff is going to take a couple years and stuff. And she's just telling her she needs to get focused because, you know, she doesn't want her father rolling her down the aisle because she'll be too old. Now, when we see Issa at work, she pitches a designer and an artist who is Crenshaw, who she's talking about. Who is your boy? Ralph Angel Bordelone from Queen Sugar. Yes, your boy is on this show. Now, Issa's boss, Seth, is impressed by her vision, but he wants to use an artist that is more established than Crenshaw. He doesn't really want to use Crenshaw. And this is kind of frustrating Issa, who wants to use an artist who is actually a part of their community and knows what they're doing and knows what goes on in the community and has been through stuff because Crenshaw, you know, he got out of prison and stuff. Now, Molly asks Issa how her friendship with Nathan is going. Then we see Molly getting back on a dating app and she reflects about her old relationships and we see flashbacks and stuff and she starts to think about what she really wants in a partner and what it's like dating her. You know, we see all kinds of people that were with her in the past over the past seasons and she's just thinking about it. Now we see a breakfast meeting with Nadia and Issa is blindsided by her boss. You know, he shows up and Issa is just expressing her concerns about the event because it's coming up soon. And Issa suggests that an artist from the community will have more authenticity than an artist who isn't. And Nadia and Seth agreed to use Crenshaw, but they got to simplify things, you know, simplify the show the way they want to. Then we see Issa meet up with Crenshaw and she's telling him her notes and stuff. And he's not happy about 
having to, you know, work his show the way they want to do it. But he agrees to work with them on Issa's recommendation. Now, Molly calls her mom and apologizes for being so uptight about everything. And her mom tells her that, you know, they have to push through their fear sometimes. And she tells her, look, you should call Herbert. Now, on the day of the block event and Crenshaw's performance, Molly comes to support Issa and she's impressed by the event and stuff. And Issa, you know, gives an interview about the event. Crenshaw is doing this event because he wants to highlight the flaws in the prison industry as well as helping ex-cons by hiring them and stuff so they can change their lives. Now, we see that Crenshaw is refusing to take any of the notes that they talked about. And he's going to perform the event the way he wants to do it. He doesn't care at all. And Issa calls out Crenshaw for being unprofessional. You know, she's hurt when he tells Issa he doesn't have a brand to answer to and that her support for him is all talk. He pretty much said Issa is a sellout. Now we see the event begins and we see the drum line, you know, the people coming in, riding their stuff, the low riders and the fashion creative performances and stuff now while this show is going on isa is pretty sure she's going to be fired but after the show seth finds isa and tells her that the performance blew him away and that isa was right to push crenshaw's vision and that he would love to give her more funding so it worked out in her favor and she was surprised and honestly so was i but we see isa looking up at the moon and stuff and she's feeling bad and she texts nathan after the event and they meet up for a drink at Issa's place. Now we see Molly go on her first date and she tries to change, I guess you can say, because she's not trying to act the way she used to because she knows that she really might be the problem. Now, Nathan, he's getting ready to catch a lift home and Issa asks him to spend the night and then he says yes. So they get into bed and after Issa thanks Nathan for helping her feel better, they begin to kiss and stuff. But before they can actually smash, Issa starts crying, you know, she bursts into tears and Nathan comforts her and Issa tells him that she thought she was ready and Nathan holds her until she falls back asleep. But when she wakes up, your boy Nathan is gone and she wakes up alone. And that's the end of the episode. But it was a pretty solid episode. So far, this season is good. It's the final season. So I hope some interesting things happen this season. I can't wait for the next one. Um, comment your thoughts down below if you've seen the episode. What did you guys think? I'll give this episode an 8 out of 10. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all insecure content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash the notification bell so you can never miss a video. If you guys want to donate to the channel, I got links below to the PayPal and Cash App accounts. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy, Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.